Welcome back to another Chess Survivors devlog. I'm Aramis and my game is a semi-turn-based action roguelike where the player gets to fight off an ever-growing horde of chess-based enemies. Now I released Chess Survivors into early access on Steam just under three months ago. And over that time I've added a lot of polish to the game, but it still only has the original seven characters I released the game with. So today my main goal is to design and implement a new character. I'm gonna go grab a cup of coffee. Did, did you, did you want something? Uh, but yeah, I'll check back in once I have some more progress to share. I ended up settling on making a knight theme character. I feel like I could really play off of the actual knight piece and then my existing nightmare ability to find some interesting thematic synergies. So I dove into a sprite and since I'm not the best pixel artist, I always try to stay pretty loose and, and really focus on playing around until I get something I like. And here is the final animation cycle for my new character I'm calling The Real Knight. I think it turned out pretty well, but let me know what you think down in the comments. Now my next step is going to be to actually code up the character, so I'm going to throw on some Queen's Greatest Hits and get into programming. Well that wasn't actually too bad, luckily past Aramis had built out some abstractions, so all I really needed to set up was the knight's character data structure, create the new character relic, and add in a few references to the art we just created. I will admit, I kind of wanted to refactor some of this code, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So now I have the character set up in game with the nightmare ability, and I gave it the base movement of the knight chest piece, which is something we talked about a little bit earlier. But that does mean I have to adjust the small wizard's movement so they each have their own unique movement patterns. I guess I'll just give it a little bit extra movement tile since it is the cutest little powerful wizard out there. Now you might notice that the real knight's starting relic doesn't actually have any stats yet, so let me go consult my little cat Carl and see what he thinks I should add as the main mechanics for the real knight. Before I share Carl's idea with you, I'm trying something a little bit different in this video here. Honestly, with my new job, I have had a lot less time and energy to make videos for you all, and, and that sucks. So I'm trying something a little bit different, a little bit shorter, more focused format here. So if you like that, let me know by leaving a like below and possibly give me some feedback down in the comments. Thank you so much, I, I really do appreciate it. So Carl thought it would be cool if we made the knight have a ton of health, but then also disabled any healing, which I thought was a perfect idea. <laughs> uh, you, you get it? He's, he's a cat, and cat's per, I, 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 I know, terrible joke, but I bet at least one of you laughed, and for that, it was worth it. Now jumping back into Godot, I was able to quickly add a new global modifier to enable or disable healing. And then on the player script, I simply check if healing is enabled before I actually heal the player. Then on the knight's starting relic, I need to set enable healing to false. Now after testing, I found the knight's starting ability plus that knight based movement pattern was pretty hard to pilot, which I'm actually okay with because one of my design goals for chess survivors is to reward players skill by providing learning opportunities in the form of challenges and different play styles. But to make this a little less punishing, let's also have the movement power up spawn a little bit more often. And another great idea Carl had is to add 100% melee damage multiplier. This way any increases to melee damage will be twice as effective for our new knight character. I'm hoping this will allow the knight to scale nicely into the late game if the player can actually get a build going and survive the early game. You can play chess survivors over on steam and during early access it's only three US dollars. This character is playable right now in the game speeder branch but once the 0.6.6 patch is fully finished the real knight will be playable on the main games branch. I've been Aramis, thanks for watching.